Food in ancient Egypt was an important part of culture and society, both in life and the hereafter. Temple walls were inscribed with copious amounts of food offered to the gods. Tombs were decorated with images of overflowing offering tables and filled with jars and bowls of real food, such as the tomb of Tutankhamun. Here are some pieces of information on what the Egyptians ate. Staple food of ancient Egypt, bread and beer. Bread was the basic staple of the Egyptian diet. Every tomb owner's first wish from those still alive passing by the tomb was thousand loaves of bread. From archaeological remains, arts and texts, we know that the loaves could be made in any fanciful shapes, such as obelisks, geese, cattle, gazelle, humans, flowers, vases, fruit and geometric shapes. Perhaps we can say the ancient Egyptians invented the animal cracker. Some of these loaves may have been meant to stand in as temple and tomb offerings for the more costly items that they represented. The ancient Egyptians are well known for their love of beer, and it formed the second staple of their diet. Men, women and children alike drank beer. Although children were introduced to beer drinking at a young age, school teachers warned young scribes in training against the intoxicating effects of alcohol. Wine was also consumed in ancient Egypt, but probably only by the upper echelons of society. Several recipes for wine found in a cookbook from the 10th century CE Baghdad describe Egyptian wine produced using the same methods documented in the art and archaeological remains of ancient times. Meat Egypt relied on cattle for sustenance from the earliest times. Beef was a high-status meat, and it's highly likely only those of high status enjoyed this food in ancient Egypt regularly. Others would have had access to it at festivals and religious holidays when the temples redistributed offerings to the gods to the poor people. The Egyptians distinguished nearly 30 cuts of beef. The foreleg was the most highly priced and is often depicted as being offered to the tomb owner in tomb paintings. Sometimes they fattened cattle by manual force feeding to the point that the animal was so fat that it was unable to even walk by itself to the slaughterhouse. Meat could be eaten fresh after being stewed, sliced thinly and air dried or salted. Sheep and goats were also eaten, but in lesser quantities. It is commonly misstated that the Egyptians did not eat pork. Based primarily on the word of the Greek historian Herodotus and the fact that pigs rarely appear in Egyptian art. Archaeological evidence shows there is no truth to this. Pig bones with butchery marks on them are commonly found at settlement sites, and there is even a mummy whose stomach contained tapeworm, which only could have been gotten from eating pork. More exotic meats the Egyptians consumed include gazelle, hyena, and even mice something the ancient Romans also indulged in. Poultry and more for the people. Much more readily available to the average Egyptian would have been a diverse and extremely numerous bird population. The chicken was not known in Egypt before the New Kingdom, but the Egyptians consumed many other types of birds. Cranes, partridges, quail, geese, ducks, purple gallinule, European coot, avocet, flamingos, pelicans, pigeons, and doves. Regardless of whether they were raised in a fowl yard or caught in some other manner, birds were killed by wringing their necks before plucking them. At this point, they could be preserved by packing them in jars of salt, cooked on a spit over a coal fire, or boiled. Like cattle, Birds were force-fed cakes to fatten them up for slaughter, which means the Egyptians may have invented foie gras. Egyptians also ate eggs. By far the most accessible protein food in ancient Egypt was the fish of the Nile and its canals. Although fish could have been eaten fresh, it was often air-dried or possibly even salted for keeping. A special fish byproduct that the Egyptians enjoyed was salted, pressed fish ovaries a treat known in French as boutargue, 
and Botago in Italian, which is still consumed in Mediterranean cultures today, including Egypt, and is considered an aphrodisiac. Dairy products were another food in ancient Egypt that was enjoyed widely. By far, the most important of these was milk. Both cow milk and goat milk, while donkey milk was found in medical prescriptions. Archaeologists have found remnants of what has been identified as cheese in several tombs. And there are cheese strainers from domestic sites for making cottage cheese that has identical counterparts in modern-day Egypt. There was no sugar in ancient Egypt. Instead, the sweetener of choice was honey. And with this fresh piece of information, you now know what was eaten in ancient Egypt. We hope you enjoyed it. What related topic would you like us to cover next? Leave a comment down below. We would love to know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next one.